Hey guys, my name is Maya and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a paracord bracelet and paracord water bottle holder. So what is a paracord bracelet? Well, paracords are also known as parachute cords or 550 cords. And all these names basically describe a lightweight um, kern mantle nylon rope. And they were originally used on US parachutes, so that's where the name comes from. Some of the uses are to tie up your gear, um, hang equipment or clothes up to dry, build a bow, um, make a perimeter trip line for warning, use it as a tourniquet, or as a water bottle sling holder, which brings us back to what we're gonna be learning today. So, the first steps are the materials. For the paracord bracelet first, you're gonna wanna have, of course, the nylon rope. Um, you're gonna want your buckles, they look like this. Also, some tools, the lighter, and some scissors, which will come in handy towards the end. First thing you're going to do is take the rope and fold it in half. And then you're gonna take the loop part of the rope, Just take your buckle, then you can put the loop through the bottom part. Then you're gonna take it and you're just gonna um, loop it back over the buckle and pull it to tighten real good. That's just to secure the buckle onto the rope. Once you have that, you're gonna go to your other end of your rope and you're gonna take the other part of your whistle bucklet and you're just gonna put it through that hole as well. So once we have that, you're going to pull the, the piece of the buckle up to your desired length. All right, so now that you have the buckle part up to your desired length, you're going to separate the two sides of the ropes and make sure they're on either side of the center ones. And we are going to begin the cobra knot braid is take one side of the ropes and you're going to make a little loop putting it over the center ropes. To do that, I take the left side and I put it over that rope behind the center ropes and then through the buckle. And then you're going to tighten it. Make sure it's really good and tight. And then you're basically alternating and repeating this process all the way down the braid. So, but since we're alternating, now we're going to take the left side. So you take the left side, you fold it over the center braid. You take, you're putting this one over and then behind the center ropes and through the loop. And then you tighten it. There we go. So now we're at the very end of the buckle. So what you wanna do is to go to the back of the buckle and you take these two end ropes and you basically just wanna take your last loop that you just did and put some slack in it will release it a little bit um, from its tight knit knot. And then you're just gonna take the two ends and just put it underneath and through that loop that you just loosened. And then just pull it and tighten it all back. And then this is where you get to finish off your bracelet. You're going to cut these two ends of the extensions that you don't need. And then you're gonna use your handy dandy lighter and you're gonna burn it so that the ends don't come apart and they'll be flat against your bracelet. And then while it's still hot, you can take the flat side of your scissor and just flatten it against your bracelet. Now you can put it on your wrist and buckle it. All right, so for the water bottle holder, we're gonna have some of the same materials. You want a new nylon rope, the board block. You're gonna want the bottle holder ring. Um, you're gonna want a new buckle. And then of course scissors and a lighter. First you're gonna take your cord and you're gonna find the middle. Once you have your loop in the middle of the cord, you're gonna take the um, cord lock and you're gonna put it through the cord lock. You're gonna take that loop and you're gonna put it through the first ring of the three ring bottle holder. Like so, you're gonna put it from the bottom and then up through the top 
like that. Then put it across and put the loop, make sure it doesn't twist, and put the loop through the other hole. And you're gonna put that loop through a part of your buckle. So you, Okay, so once you have the loop through the buckle hole, you're just gonna bring it back over the buckle like that and tighten it like we did for the paracord bracelet to make sure that it's secure like this on the rope. You're gonna wanna make sure um, that you have enough length here for the rope between the cord lock and the buckle so that when you separate the two ropes, it's the length of the bottle ring holder. Um, that's important for later because the ropes are gonna go around the top of the bottle. Um, for this one, it doesn't need to be, of course, the length of your wrist, so you can just kind of put it back over and see kind of how long you want to make it. So now that we have it in the bottom holder of the buckle, the piece of the buckle, now we're just going to do the same process that we did before for the paracord bracelet. And we're just going to start doing our cobra knot. Make that loop, remember, put it over the center lines, take the other side, put it over that, and behind the center ones, and up through the loop, and then tighten. And then remember your alternating side, so I started with the right side. For my next one, it's going to be the left side for me. And so I'm take, making the loop with the left side, putting it over the middle ropes, taking the other, side which is the right side rope putting that over the one i just put over the middle ones behind and back up through the loop like we learned before and then tighten it there you go you finish your cobra knot braid all the way down to the cord lock so once we're all the way there we're going to do the same steps like we did when we were making well finishing off our paracord bracelet the um, first thing we need to do though is take our last knot and pull the rope loose a bit. Then take those ends and put them through that loop we just made. So then you're just gonna cut this extra bit of rope we don't need. And we don't want it unraveling like that. So we're gonna take our lighter and we're gonna burn the ends right there. Make sure to take the flat part of your scissors again and flatten it. So once you have the burtons flattened, then you're all good with your cobra braid. Okay. So if you have a sports bottle like this or a hydro flask, you can just put the ring over the top. Then you can put your lid back on and there you have it. There's your bottle holder or sling. And we're done. Today we made our paracord bracelet and we made our paracord water bottle holder. Again, these are very useful items for outdoor trips, camping, hiking, or whenever. Um, all you have to do is unravel your cobra knot braid to have some extra rope in any type of situation you may need it. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun making these bracelets and holders. And again, my name is Maya from the RLA department and thank you so much for watching.